Welcome back to Bounce Around Charleston. Dimensions of Wellness and Resilience Workshop. My guest, Dr. Janae Bishop. She's a transition strategist and self-care advocate, and she's gonna tell us all about it. Welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. Oh, well, thank you so much for having me here today. I am excited. Okay, all that that I just said, Yes. tell us about yourself. Oh, absolutely. So I conduct group coaching and workshops to help people see the connection between self-care and resilience so that their personal lives can support their professional goals and become more successful. And so my background is one in which I'm a veteran. I've served as a military spouse and a mother of two veterans, but I'm also a native New Yorker, so we have to have resiliency coming. <laughs> from New York and, and transitioning and transitioning absolutely and I also was a former high school principal and alternative school principal in Georgia before I moved here two years ago Wow yes okay so tell us what the workshop Will, Absolutely. Will take place. What will happen with it? I am so um, excited to be part of the Vantage Point Foundation. This is their initiative, and the opportunity is to take individuals who are post 9/11 veterans and take them through two workshops. Actually, two three-hour workshops. One on August 13th, one on August 20th, from 5:30 to 8:30 at the College of Charleston in the Riley Center. Mm -hmm. And the opportunity is that participants will have an opportunity to get dinner in addition to learning about how the dimensions of wellness can help them to be more resilient and live a holistic life. So a lot of times people ask me, what in the world is Dimensions of Wellness? Mm -hmm. And so now, is this just mainly for military families? Um, well, that is the mission of the Vantage Point Foundation to help transition military individuals into civilian life. But it would be open to the public because so many of us have been impacted by the military, by soldiers mm -hmm. transitioning and making that adjustment as civilians. I know it was difficult for my husband and I, as well as my two sons. So now, who is this event for? Yes, so it's for uh, veterans and their families who are post 9-11. So these would be individuals who served in Afghanistan or um, Iraq war. And we have a number, quite a significant amount of women who have served in this capacity. Mm -hmm. So when I started my company, Boots to Breakthrough, in 2018 and made that connection with the Vantage Point Foundation, my personal interest was reaching out to those women who were military connected, whether they were um, active duty, veterans, or military spouses. Mm -hmm. Because so often, that's a population that we don't hear a lot about. The word resilience. Absolutely, yes. How does that tie into this? Oh, my. Well, you know, back in 1976, the National Wellness Institute decided to do some research. What does it take to live your best life? And at mm -hmm. that time, they were able to identify the dimensions of wellness. So what I've determined through Boots to Breakthrough is that we can become resilient through incorporating all eight of these eight dimensions into our lives. And those eight dimensions are spiritual wellness, mm -hmm. which, of, of course, we know a lot about that, physical wellness, emotional wellness, also environmental wellness. What is it that we have in our space that enables us to feel grounded and centered? Then there is also social wellness, which deals with our personal and professional relationships. Occupational wellness, which relates to our vocation. Are we working according to our purpose? Mm -hmm. Then there is intellectual wellness. How do we go forth and continue this beautiful experience of learning? And then financial wellness. And so what we have found and what we are incorporating in these trainings and workshops is helping people to identify where they are in each of those dimensions, set goals for themselves so that they can live a most holistic life. And I, I share with you that that has been a major turning point for myself in the last two years because having been a high school principal, an alternative school principal, and a school guidance counselor, back in May 2016, my life was changed and I needed these dimensions when my husband at 52 had passed in his sleep of a heart attack. So these last two years, I have taken this research to help my life to make the transition and now I have the opportunity opportunity to share this with the military community. In addition, I'm further blessed to be able to do resiliency workshops for the Palmetto Red Cross. And so this is something I really embrace wholly and I believe can help people's lives. So when the individuals come to your workshop, what do you want them to walk away with? Oh yes, I want them to walk away with what does it look like to make the rest of your life the best of your life. So we're gonna look at each of those eight dimensions, assess where they are currently, help them to establish goals and set goals that they want to achieve in each of those eight dimensions. Mm -hmm. And for those that continue on with the Vantage Point Foundation, they'll be participating in a year long program that will help them to continue this reintegration into civilian life. Okay, 
Now, finally, the caregiver participant. Yes. What do they get out of this? Oh, absolutely. I think that's a fantastic question. So in September, the Vantage Point Foundation is actually going to have a six-hour workshop specific to caregivers and military spouses. Because what uh, the community finds so interesting is that oftentimes a military person, whether they are a survivor of PTSD or just uh, trying to figure out how their military role translates into mm -hmm. their new civilian job, that is a challenge for their spouses. But for those who may have um, succumb to injury while in the military they have caregivers whether it's a parent a wife or a child and those caregivers are giving so much of themselves <laughs> they need to know how can they continue living their best life even in this role as a caregiver and that workshop will be in September okay well I thank you for being here on Bounce Around Charleston oh thank you so much it's been oh, a blessing all right dimensions of wellness workshop for the military service participants Tuesday August 13th and Tuesday August 20th 5 30 p.m. to 8 30 p.m for military spouses and caregiver participants. Saturday, September 28th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at 1505 King Street, Charleston. To register, email mark at vantagepointfoundation.org. Hmm, I got that. Oh my, and, and one correction, it's actually going to be at 176 Lockwood Drive, Charleston, and you can access that on Eventbrite. This woman is shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Forte Jazz Lounge, Lounge, King Hollywood is coming. We'll tell you all about it right after this break.